welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna do a colorful eye look and the theme color is pink. You probably already got that hint. Anyway, we're going to start with the eye primer. I'm using a white base as you can tell, obviously. Um, so the colors are really gonna pop. I'm going to use the Jawbreaker Palette by Jeffree Star just because I haven't used it in ages and it was kind of expensive. So, you know, I don't want to waste it. Um, you can also use NYX Cosmetics, of course. Uh, the base is also NYX Cosmetics. Uh, BH Cosmetics has very bright palettes, like, you know, just use whatever you want. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to pull you up a little bit closer so you can actually see what I'm doing. Now, one thing I dislike about this primer is it creases like hell, like seriously. Not once there's actually eyeshadow on top of it, but it's really difficult to work with because you constantly have to reblend it. And it's frustrating. Anyway, yeah. I'm just going to start off with a uh, peachy shade that I'm not going to say the name of because I don't want to instantly get it demonetized. Owners of this palette can tell which one I'm talking about. But anyways, you can tell the color anyway. <laughs> but yeah, the idea is an ombre. So I'm going to start off with quite a pale color. So the other colors can easily go on top. And just throwing out the cut creases. I usually do. And see, this is the downside. You can already tell it's already creasing again on the other eye. This is going to be a very extremely frustrating process. I can tell you that much. Now, I'm just blending uh, the uh, same color into my inner corner crease. And by the way, I'm totally using a uh, palette brush. This is the Naked Ultraviolet brush because it has a small side and a big side. And that's exactly what I need. Um, but yeah, about the primer. This is not a primer review. I will stop whining about the primer in a second. But one thing is, the products do blend over it absolutely beautifully. Like, it's definitely not a bad quality product overall. Um, and I'm pretty sure that with dry skin, it would actually be very, very nice. But for oily skin it's just really not ideal. Um, and like I totally get that my former favorite white eye primer, which was also by NYX, might have been discontinued because for most people it might have been way too dry. Like seriously, if I was the only one who was really happy with it. I can sort of understand that they didn't, you know, continue creating it. But still, I always just really, really hate it when I have a favorite product and it gets discontinued because you just gotta like pointlessly search for something that's the same yet you can never get it quite the same and it's just annoying <laughs> the other one was way drier so it actually worked really really well for me now moving on to a, a even darker shade of pink this isn't as much as an, of an ombre as i thought it would be we'll fix it later anyway um, but like i also have a few with food sometimes like seriously who remembers the bologna bologna i have no idea how to pronounce it in english but there was a flavor of tips uh, by Lace back in the day, and I'm talking about like 2005 or something. Um, that was so good, and then they they actually stopped selling it. Then they brought it back, but the flavor had completely changed, and it was just really not the same. Um, yeah, like and then later on, and that was just the biggest dick move ever in my opinion. But like they, there's something in my hair. But like they had this like temporary flavor, I think it was like pizza flavor or something like that. And it tasted exactly the same as that old flavor. But it was just a temporary thing and it was like... I took it personal, you know, like seriously. It was just mean. Okay, so I have once again re-blended the primer on my eyelids. This is a seriously frustrating process, I gotta say. Anyway, so I want the crease a little bit darker. So I'm going to do that with a dark... Um, you know what, I think I'm just going to go into straight up red, because really I really thought the color I used last would be darker, but it is not. Um, and I'm going to stuff it on with a tiny brush, because it will apply it more thickly, and therefore more opaquely. And now to make the inner corner paler, I'm going over it with a paler color than I originally used. Just because, again, I really want the ombre effect to be a lot stronger. Now, I'm just doing the very daunting task of resharpening my cut crease. Daunting, because even though this primer, again, it covers really, really well, and the eyeshadow adheres to it really, really well, it doesn't seem to want to adhere to my skin. Like basically if I go over it again then it just wipes off again. It's uh It's a thing we gotta deal with, okay? 
And I'm immediately, like normally I would do the other eye first to get it even. Now I'm just going to go immediately in with a off-white eyeshadow. You could also use a true white, but this palette has an off-white and I don't want to use another palette as well. Uh, but anyways, I'm immediately doing that just because this stuff is already shiny as hell. And it's just definitely going to crease miserably if I don't immediately set it. So I'm going to immediately set it. Okay, that's that. Um, now it's time to spice up the cut crease even more by actually adding some uh, shimmer from an eyeshadow in the line. Just applying some shimmer on the eyelid as well because I like shimmer and I can't help myself. Um, by the way, this is literally just like the orange thing. That's literally just eyeshadow and um, regular old water. Yeah, uh, if you're using a different palette, try it out first. If your eyeshadows actually are willing to transform themselves into eyeliner because some eyeshadows don't, they just become wet eyeshadow which is you know not not useful really next up liner also one last complaint i promise i'll like stop complaining after this um the eyeshadow base the eyelids are uneven as heck that's because the base just goes uneven as soon as you go over it with a brush again and there's really, really literally nothing you can do about it um, so yeah, that's frustrating, but anyway, so I'm just gonna ignore that and apply eyeliner and after that I'm going to apply big falsies to hide the eyelids mostly. Um, and the eyeliner I do actually like, like really, I generally love NYX products. This eyeliner is Epic Ink by NYX, which I really, really like. It can be a bit dry sometimes, but it is very precise and very dark. Um, so yeah, you know, there's always something positive to say as well. And there you have it. The biggest nightmare in makeup. I was halfway done with my eyeliner and then the eyeliner ran out. So yeah, I finished it with a different eyeliner and now we're just gonna leave the eyes alone for a moment and move to the face. And just because at this point I really want a NYX product to just cooperate as it normally does. I'm going to use the NYX Bear With Me uh, Skin Veil. And it shall work. And just to play it completely safe I'm going to use my trusty Catrice Concealer because that always cooperates. Now next up I'm going to use the NYX A Bit Jelly Highlighter which is so weird to touch because it bounces and it, it, it's jelly. Uh, but it does give a really really gorgeous glow so I'm just going to apply that in my highlight areas. So I did by the way already powder my uh, under eye area and this little tiny bit of my forehead here. Just because I wanted to leave a powder there because I get oily there the quickest. Well actually this gets oily, this just creases. Now I've also powdered the rest of my face and I'm just filling in my eyebrows. Also by the way, I used to never be able to get away with a little bit of powder and I feel like my skin has gotten less oily over the last few years. I'm hoping it's a skincare thing but it might just be an age thing which I don't hope. I'm just at an old place in life, you know, where you're no longer the youngest at work. Yet you're also, you know, still really feeling like um, a bit of an imposter towards anyone who views you as a complete adult. Because really your thoughts are childish <laughs> as they were like 10 years ago. But yeah, it's kind of funny really. Then also doing a little bit of contour. I'm not making this too heavy because I really want the focus to remain on the eyes. But I do want the contour to, you know, exist. The blush is going to be pretty bold, bold pink. I totally did not anticipate it being this bold. I just overdid it on one cheek and now I'm going to have to copy it to the other and we're just going to roll with it. Anyway, now back to the eyes. Um, I want to have the orange come back in another part of the look. So I'm going to um, use orange below my eyes. I guess you didn't see that coming. I'm going to apply orange eyeshadow with the small stump brush. B -b brush that came out really weird anyway um, because I don't want a hint of color there this time I want color period and then in the corner uh, as usually I want some shimmer so I'm just gonna apply the shimmery white shade that I also applied on the lid then just a bright pencil on the waterline just to make 
that's bright too. Logic. And then for lashes, I really want to wear big lashes because I feel like I haven't done so in a while. So yeah, I'm going to go for this really, really huge fluff hat pair, which is the Panther by XO Beauty. So this is the before and the after. And now the final thing we have to do is the lips. And for that, I'm actually also going to use a NYX product. I'm going to use glitter goals in a pink shade, um, which is the kind of thing you apply it and then you like rub your lips together and it becomes all glittery, which is gorgeous. Um, so yeah, just going to apply that and then we're all finished. And that leaves us with the final result. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, if you did enjoy it, please click the like button. It would really help me out because it makes YouTube suggest my videos more often to new people. Um, if you don't want to miss any of my future videos, you can always subscribe to my channel. And yeah, about the look itself, I'm actually quite surprised with how it turned out. Because let me tell you a little secret. I thought this look was going to be a mess when I applied the eye primer basically already. Um, also, when the eyeliner ended up being empty, I also uh, had a little bit of issues applying the huge falsies. And the lipstick didn't really go perfect at first either, so I had to fix it up with concealer. But, oh, and, and also I applied too much blush initially. Yeah. This is the proof that a lot of tiny mistakes and, like, incidents can actually lead up to a good result. Um, but yeah, anyway, seriously though, um, I don't actually dislike a lot of the products I use today, like any of the products with the exception of the eye primer, which I'm now leaving open just so because I hope it's gonna dry out a little bit and get less oily, maybe, hopefully. It's worth a try, uh, but yeah, if you want to know exactly what I use, you can find it below in the video description as always. I totally can't remember if I already said that, if so, then you've now heard it twice. Sorry, <laughs> anyway... Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you next time. Bye!